not very good. Sometimes we use double exposure, which is a technique which you can, with some digital cameras, obtain. And you can kind of mimic it in Photoshop, but it's not the same thing. Double exposure um, involves exposing the same piece of film more than once. I think the first time we actually used it um, to try to obtain a very specific effect was with um, the third stanza, where um, I wanted to make this image that looked digitally manipulated, so we want, I wanted to use an element of um, black dropout, which is basically exposing the negative so that the black area creates a completely transparent part of the negative with no detail, and that allows one to cut off by putting on a, a black piece of clothing and a black background that don't reflect light. You can effectively cut off the body, which we've used quite a lot. Um, and I wanted to have a frame that was around that, and the way that I chose to do this was to expose a whole roll of medium format film with the frame and then with a lot of difficulty roll this back into the camera and then re-expose the same length of film with the subject in the middle. And we also have now done these um, multiple self-portraits. <coughs> I mean, Joseph and I did a self-portrait of two but we were using a split, we were splitting it with a mirror so that I was sitting next to the camera and I was in with half of the camera reflected in a mirror and he was at the same distance from the mirror behind it. So that we're about the same scale with this mirror in the middle dividing the frame in half, but it's still one photograph and it's a self-portrait of two people. And I kind of liked the play on the fact that it was a self-portrait of two people. Whereas the ones that we were doing more recently, we were doing with double exposure and, and then quadruple exposure with a few months ago, we. Um, just used a very bright light on one side with the black dropout, which is black velvet, behind us. Did us one of us from one side, then tried to get our heads in the same position framed inside the camera and then light it from the other side and expose it a second time, wind the film and try again. A lot of trial and error, and if we're lucky we get maybe one half decent line up per roll of film. Working in Photoshop, well, to be honest, it's more than anything to me. It's uh, it seems to be uh, um, honesty. I feel that if the camera, if the image is created in a real camera on film, then it's honest. With digital, you can manipulate anything, and if any possibility was open, we wouldn't know where to go. So um, the limitations of film are good, but also the quality of the the sort of um, organic quality of it is very important to us.